Now, back home here to Australia, optometry is among the top bulk billed Medicare professions as the most recent quarterly Medicare statistics released by the federal government demonstrate 94.3% of optometry services were bulk billed in the last quarter. However, optometrists have reported that the increasing cost with providing healthcare means that many optometry Medicare items are insufficient to address the true costs of quality care. Today we have Avner Engel, the founder and CEO of US-based Amplify Eye Care, to discuss what can be done to help optometrists deliver the best care for their patients. Help us see clearly, my friend. It's good to see you. Thanks for your time. Great to see you as well. Thank you for having me. No worries, and thanks for laughing at my joke. So welcome to Funding Futures, <laughs> Avner. And to start, tell us a little bit about the problems that optometrists are facing out there at the moment. What are you seeing? Well, one of the biggest problems is uh, that's facing independent optometrists is going to just be an issue of time. So an independent optometrist is going to essentially have two jobs. On the one hand, they're managing a small retail medical business. And on the other hand, they're also seeing patients all day. And that's always going to cause an issue of who do I, what do I prioritize? Do I prioritize managing the business or do I prioritize patient care or medical care in my office? Uh, and in the U.S., there's 23,000 independent optometry clinics. Uh, so it's a highly fragmented industry. The average clinic is one and a half doctors and seven staff. So essentially what you're getting is that the average optometrist is going to be seeing patients all day long and going to be running a small business. Um, and so what that actually does is also brings up a second problem. It almost exacerbates the second problem. The second problem is, is when they're so busy on that hamster wheel of just running your business, you know, you're so busy in your business, you don't actually manage your business. Um, and so what happens is they get so busy doing routine eye care that they can't do the services that they really want to do. The high margin, high revenue, medical and specialty services that an optometrist, at least in the US, is able to do um, is, is really kind of, it, it is, escapes their grasp. Um, and so that is the second issue that's facing an optometrist is that they're they're too busy with the routine eye care that they can't get the the, the more advanced stuff. And then the third problem that faces these independent optometrists is that uh, there's a lack of awareness that's happening right now. So I'll, I'll take an example would be dry eye. 30% uh, of patients are going to have some form of dry eye, but if the patient isn't aware that there's a solution and they think that the solution for dry eye is eye drops. So then that's, that's, a, that's a really a big problem. <laughs> so um, that, that third part is communicating or making aware the patients the, in their practice, outside of their clinic and referral sources on the solutions that they offer. Um, so just to summarize, it's, they have two full-time jobs, there's a lack of standard of care, and then there's a lack of awareness of, those, of that care that's available. And as you mentioned in Australia, there's an additional just, element just of gonna, the pricing. I, I was just going to jump in. I'm so sorry, just being aware of the time, but I want to know a little bit more yeah. about what Amplify Eye Care are doing to combat the issues that you've outlined there, uh, if I can ask and jump in. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So Amplify Care was created essentially to bridge that gap between what medical care is available or potentially available and what's actually reaching the patient. And so in order to do that, we're tackling those three main issues, which is, you know, freeing up the doctor's time, professionalizing management. And to that end, we've created a whole software suite, suite um, and platform that we call Amp Up, which is essentially a virtual office space where we can manage staff train the staff, add in technology, add in the marketing and resources to manage that business to free up the doctor's time. Uh, the second part of Amplify's business model is really about being medical first. And our first acquisitions that we made are some of the leading experts in the world on neurooptometry, vision therapy, and low vision services that we are looking to expand and bring into the clinics that we acquire. And then the third component is that our our team's background is leading out marketing for over 2,000 clinics, uh, generating over a million appointments a year, um, and so obviously just a full force effort in in to amplify the awareness of patients both internally and externally and referral sources um, in the clinic. Absolutely, and what a wonderful rundown from you. Very succinct. I want to uh, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us on the program. I'm sure you've got a lot of eyes to tend to. It sounds like you're a very busy man with the team as well. So Avner, thank you so much for joining me on Funding Futures today. Thanks for having me.